what's going on guys this is a Traxxas Revo 3.3 and you're looking at it after I would say the scariest probably the worst high speed runaway I have ever seen luckily the video footage of the runaway was caught on film take a look at it and then we will go back to examining exactly what went wrong maybe we'll do a little diagnosis but at the end of the day we have to figure out what made this Revo go insane was it because there were a lot of electrics at that area it's highly probable You saw that clip guys, the Cerebo, you heard it, it hit the second gear and it actually found the only crawlers that were directly in its way. I'm a little bit proud that the Cerebo decided to take out those crawlers. Uh, just so you guys know, there was no actual damage to the crawlers, they were fine, it looks like just their lids came off. Now it literally looked like it flipped over my uh, very large Primal MT that was in its way. Now this happened, the runaway pretty much out of nowhere let me give you a little bit of context right um i was witnessing this thing drive i was there at the rc show like you know kind of recording my own thing and uh my friend was there in the background with this revo uh, i was running normal you ran it for like maybe a tank or something before that right exactly you know i think i think this is the problem i think this is the problem this revo voted for the democrats sickening i'm gonna put it on the wheel for now and i'm gonna put it somewhere but um, we're going to do like, I guess, a full examination. Hopefully we can determine what went wrong. In terms of the damage, really not that bad. Basically just some of the links came out, suspension parts here need to just be uh, rethreaded, reassembled. There's really no actual damage beyond that. Um, well, I guess you could say no damage to the Revo, but of course this guy damaged the entire system, you know? Just ask my taxes. So here's the story. It was a car show. We were running the Revo outside there. I was running the Primal MT. I also had some other things on the table. I hope you guys uh, were able to check out that RC car show video. It first came out maybe about a week ago, depending on how fast or slow I edit, right? I told my friend over here to put the Revo away after the, after the incident we had, the runaway incident, and really nothing has happened in terms of repairs so far. I wanted it left exactly how it was. So let's take off the body. We'll take a look on the inside. Maybe go over some of the weak parts and maybe a couple suggestions. Uh, you guys put in the comments what we should do. So this is the radio we were running. The Flysky GT5. Very, very reliable radio. In fact, I know this one, it's never had any kind of runaway issues at all because there's a couple of uh, models programmed to it already. So we'll turn the car on. Now, the first thing I notice, this model still has the opti drive that is that is i guess you could say good and bad the opti drive is basically uh, a sensor that goes inside here in the transmission it has a, a a cog in there that basically determines whether the car is moving forward or backwards and it prevents you from shifting into reverse while you're still moving forward i don't really think there's any possible way that the opti drive can cause a runaway which is basically full throttle acceleration now when the runaway happened um, you had no radio signal at all, right? I think, did you have steering? I remember. Yeah, probably no steering. If you had steering, I think I think you steered correctly into the crawlers out there. It was a really nice launch. Um, kind of like flipped right over them because the crawlers have like these beefy tires. So I think what happened is your beefy tire hit the crawler beefy tire and did a little bit of a flip. Luckily, nobody was injured. Nobody was hurt. Uh, the truck turned off uh, pretty much when it, when it landed, right, I think? Because it flipped over, it was at like at high RPM, so it probably starved itself of fuel. But I mean, now I'm looking at it, the throttle servo seems completely normal, it's active. I don't notice anything weird. Uh, steering works. Now, I did try to reproduce this issue, but so far I have had um, 
no success it's really it's really a mystery let me see i was thinking maybe the fail safe was engaged and it was actually incorrect so let me turn the radio off yeah so the fail safe is uh set to neutral it should be break or you know well in this case yeah break but neutral is also not incorrect like it's not something that would cause a a full speed runaway what i will say is we definitely know 100 percent that this thing hit the two speed baby okay because it, you heard it it was pretty good um even the tires were ballooning <laughs> Let's do a quick fire up just to demonstrate anything crazy going on. I mean, nothing's crazy going on. It's a Traxxas Revo, you know, but I got the radio. We got a big cement wall in the back in the front over there. Oh yeah, that little power wire. Electric start wire, loose. It's common, happens all the time. Got bad news, guys. We're trying to fire this up. Feels, uh, the electric start motor feels warm. It doesn't want to fire up. I thought at first it was just this plug wire that came off. So, you know, I took off from the spade connector, that little uh, grommet that was there. And I'm literally touching it metal to metal. Still nothing, right? Try it again. Put, put the electric start in. I'm going to hold this. We know for sure we have connection. Yeah, we got nothing. Interesting, yeah. interesting. So we got a couple problems on this Revo. Hmm. Although the air filter is probably the cleanest I've ever seen in my life over there. You know, <laughs> for sure. Interesting. Yeah, throttle servo has normal response so far. Like, we've had it on for a little while. We haven't noticed any glitching with the servos at all. So what, what would account for that runaway? I don't think that this is in any way related. It probably just got fried. Maybe there was some kind of internal short that caused current to jump somewhere. Now, I know you told me that um, this plug wire was removed. But the thing is, this doesn't get any power to it when it's not being powered by the electric start wand. So like even if it touched the metal to metal like like that, there's no way that it would interfere with the 2.4 gigahertz system, you know? Sure. Like it shouldn't. There's no way. So this is still still a hardcore mystery. Um, either way, we're gonna repair it. Uh, what do you think we should do? Probably. I'm thinking. Should we do a uh, a forward only on this? Remove the entire Opti drive system. What do you think? I'll probably consider removing the Opti drive. Um, and well, there's really nothing else to go through. Once the electric start motor is replaced, we'll be able to uh, fire it up. But for now, guys, that's about it. I'm gonna put here a couple more clips of the runaway in action uh, so you could enjoy that entertainment. Although, you know, you never wanna be happy about runaways. They're, they're not very good. We don't want any accidents to happen. That's kind of like why I wanted to uh, do a follow-up on this particular truck just diagnose and see what it is but you know we ran into a couple other problems and that's that's the story for today guys thank you all for watching um if there's any more developments with this revo i will i will be sure to let you know comment like give this video a sickening thumbs up and um don't be dissuade with nitros you know electrics have their problems too called lipos cost too much Nitro World Order. Nitro World Order.